hey you guys and welcome back to my channel hope you are having a great day so of course i am cleaning if you're new to my channel i just did a couple of things in the house i guess you can call it renovations and the house is a little bit dusty so today i'm going to be focusing on cleaning the very small which this is a very large mirror but very small spaces like the mirror the window and also the floors i was really tired so i did not get a chance to record the window process but i did record um cleaning the floors and then also going into my like master and then of course downstairs it's a whole house cleanup but keep in mind because i know that i'm going to be doing some renovation downstairs i didn't go like too in detail with it i'm going to be cleaning the floors with the de chateau cleaning product and also just plain water that's how the floors are meant to be clean i think i mentioned this before i cannot use swiffer or bono on these floors because these are a uv oil based flooring so i can't use anything that could potentially damage the actual natural finish of the floors but anyway let's go ahead and get started with the cleanup nobody's like you you are not normal at all no i feel like i want to let down my guard and just fall Someone was before you Let someone let me go It's time I must know for sure Cause someone was before you Let someone let me go But I just need to be sure Some say love's not for the bitter ones Some say love will only bring you down Some say love can feel much better now, better now now that I'm done cleaning the mirror and I also wiped off the window, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum the floors. I am using my LG vacuum, you guys. I absolutely love it. The last video that I did using this vacuum, you guys were asking what's the difference between that and the Dyson. And to be honest with you, the difference is 100% the battery time. The LG comes with the two batteries and I believe each battery is about 60 minutes if I'm not mistaken. So you have almost like two hours worth of battery. I absolutely love it. But I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning the floors. As I mentioned before, just in case you missed it, I have one bucket that has the De Chateau cleaning product, which I'm going in with first. And then I'm going to be going in with this plain water to do the floors. As I said it before, this is what is recommended for the floors. in the upstairs loft space and I am so excited to actually start styling upstairs in general because I, now I have an idea of how I want the space to look so I'm really excited. Also, while cleaning upstairs, I realized one thing. I am really happy that I broke up getting the floors done because it took about maybe three days of sweeping and mopping and then vacuuming and then mopping for me to actually get the floors really nice and clean just because it was just really dusty. I did change out the filters and like I said, I was cleaning behind the guys as they were working, but then I also was going in the days after to clean the floor and just to kind of make sure that my cleaning wasn't going to be too much. Nobody's like us When people see us they know uh, I feel so much for you That I don't know what to do Cause someone was before you And someone let me go This time I must know for sure Cause someone was before you And someone let me go But I just need to be sure Some say love's not for the bitter ones Some say Love will only bring you down Some say love can feel much better now, better now But will you let me down? 
you guys i am in the landing upstairs and look at the walls i cannot wait to actually get this space painted and i get to actually see such a beautiful view behind me but now that i am done mopping i'm going to go ahead and move into the master bathroom and what i'm going to be doing in this space is putting up all of my towels now some of them are new and i haven't washed them just yet they were in a box they were not in the house when the guys were doing all the renovation with like the flooring and different things throughout the house so i didn't wash them yet but i will wash them and then at the very very top row i am going to be putting in the clean wash ones so that way whenever you know i go take a shower i have the ones up top nobody's like you you are not normal at all, no I feel like I want to Let down my guard and just fall Cause someone was before you Let someone let me go It's time I must know for sure Cause someone was before you Let someone let me go But I just need to be sure Some say love's not for the Now that I'm done putting up all the towels, I want to go ahead and share with you guys what the linen closet looks like after. So here's the linen closet. I don't think I give you guys a full overview, but um, at the bottom I have like my fragrance and lotions and stuff. These towels right here, they have not been washed. These right here have been washed, and then of course these um, have been washed. I try not to use too many things, but once the house kind of gets a little bit more settled, and what I mean by that is the base trim has to get added. I don't know if you guys can see in the corner, there's no base trim around. That's why I'm really on trying to unpack, unpack a whole bunch of stuff because I know the base trim has to go in, which is going to be like another situation with dust again. But I'm going to try to get my closet in before that goes in. So now it's the next day. I don't know if I mentioned, but this whole cleaning process took me two days. I was just beat from doing the floors. I'm folding some of the items that I took out the house to wash. So I have like my towels and my robes and things of that nature. And like I said, I'm gonna put them above in the closet. That way they are housed. I really do love the fact that the um, master bath has a linen closet. So I don't have to leave the room in order to access any of those things, which is like amazing. Nobody's like us When people see us, they know and now that I'm done with putting up all the towels, I'm going to start with my shoes. It makes sense to me, but it may not make any sense to you. I'm taking my shoes out of the boxes. I want them out of the plastic because some of them did leave a little bit of a marking on the shoes, just in case you guys were wondering. So now that I'm done with all the folding, I'm going to open up this box. In the box are my shoes. Now this may not make any sense to you, but it makes perfect sense to me. I'm still kind of milling over exactly what I'm going to be doing with my closet, but I felt like in order to stay organized was to go through all my shoes, figure out what I want, what I don't want, and I actually got rid of about seven pairs of shoes, and when I say got rid of, I'm still trying to figure out if I want to post it on Poshmark or if I just want to take it to the Goodwill once everything is kind of reopened back up. That way I don't keep up with things that I know that I'm not going to wear. Not only am I doing that, but I'm also trying to kind of in a way figure out how everything is going to move back into the closet because I am going to go ahead and get the trim work done, get the closet painted, and depending on which comes first, go ahead and move the closet and have it installed. For those of you guys that are new, I am waiting to see if I can get my closet painted white. Right now the color is antique white and it has some uh, antiquing on it. I want the antiquing gone. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. And then when I get done with the shoes, 
I'm going to go ahead and put up my clothes. I had a few things that was supposed to be going on, but clearly those things have now been canceled. So I wanted to go ahead and unpack the bags that I got stuff from H&M and also from um, Jo Malone. That way they would be situated. So that I don't know what to do Cause someone was before you And someone let me go This time I must know for sure Alright you guys, quick overview The floors look amazing Amazing I basically cleaned them for about three days And now they look really really good I'm just waiting for downstairs to get done That way I can do like the big reveal of all the spaces But I'm really really happy I have my florals here. If you guys remember, I think I told you guys I'm going to do the console table here. Wall art, flowers, um, along with the tray and my little figurine that I have downstairs. That's coming. That's going to come upstairs and a candle is going to go there. I didn't bring that stuff over because I need help moving it and candle want help, right? And then I pretty much just kind of like line the shoes down here. I put it here because nine times out of ten... If the closet doesn't get sprayed, I'm just going to move it as is. At first, I wasn't going to move it at all because I really don't like the color. And I know it's going to be difficult to keep moving it in out the house to get sprayed and stuff. But at this point, I don't know if I don't move it in here, what to do with it. So I think I told you guys previously that I also have some clothes and shoes in here that's still in there. And now the back closet, I was able to move some more stuff. The things that are in this box was in my island. So it's still in the box. I don't really have anywhere to put it. I never had a dresser and I don't plan on buying a dresser because I have the closet. So, um, I don't know. I'm not even going to think about this closet right now. But I have like my dresses and my long pieces hanging up here. I have my handbags and stuff here. I haven't opened any of these things because it was still kind of dusty in the house and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to open it. That's not really... I'm not going to open until I have a proper place for it. And then again, these things go inside of the drawer also. And then I have my stuff up here. And then my blazers are here. And also little um, jackets and things. And then my skirts, long skirts. And then my jewelry is there. But once my closet is together, it will be a little bit better right now. I'm just kind of happy to have this stuff out of the garage. <laughs> so I'm currently in the room that's gonna be my closet and I wanted to show you. So basically the closet is gonna go from here all the way around, which means I'm not going to need the base trim. So if I can get the closet to be moved in here, I can go ahead and take everything from out of the bathroom, out of the master and put it in here. That way I don't have to worry about so much dust. But um, just in case if you guys were wondering, these are my Venus et Fleur floor arrangements. I believe they're supposed to last over a year is what they say. But I know someone who had them for three, so I was like, oh my god, I have to have them. So they're still here, and they're thriving, and they're popping. I believe they're a year old now, and they still look really, really good, and they smell amazing. If you guys remember this floor arrangement, it pretty much sold out once I shared it on my channel. It's so pretty. I love it. It looks really good. I don't know if you guys can see the floors with the light color walls. It just feels like so relaxing. Even though I'm just giving you guys like a quick little frame. I'm probably going to take a picture of this and share it on my channel. But if you can see down below the epoxy at the bottom, it's still super clear. I know a lot of people were uh, making comments about how to get that. But I noticed that making a better investment in the silk flowers gets a better payoff but I wanted to share that with you guys really quickly. I think a few of you guys are probably new because some of you were like what flower is she talking about? So I actually made these flowers and I'm going to make some more but I'm going to make some really really large ones and I'm going to leave the link for the cardstock in the description box. Literally Probably in the next two weeks, I'm going to start making them so I can have them ready once the closet is done. 
So I had a few boxes in the garage. I went on ahead and I brought them inside. I am going to be covering everything once they start the flooring downstairs so everything doesn't get all dusty and everything again. Very similar to what I did upstairs when they were working. But I'm putting up my knife set. If you guys are wondering, this is from Cafalon. They are self-sharpening knives. I highly suggest while you are at home that you do a little bit of research on this. I do plan on cooking here really, really soon. Just trying to get everything unpacked and ready to go because I know once I start cooking and you guys start seeing these knives in action, you're definitely going to want to get your hands on them because they are super sharp and they cut with ease. I am now going to be putting in all of my spoons and serving items in the drawer. No, I did not line them because one, I don't want to look online for any liner and number two I don't really feel like going to the store to look for a liner is anything essential that I have to do right now so for right now I'm putting everything up as is and of course once you know the lock-in is lifted I'll see if I want to go and do it but for right now my concern is just unpacking once everything is kind of together in this space I will go back and concern myself with the more detailed things but right now that's really just not Someone let me go, but I just need to be sure Some say love's not for the bitter ones Some say love will only bring you down Some say love can feel much better now, better now Alright you guys, I'm about to get ready to get out of here and take the trash out really quickly I think I'm going to end up moving the knives over here Only because when the pantry gets done all of the cabinets are going to pretty much be the same height and it's going to also have the countertop so i can always put my coffee maker inside of that and then still use the bottom storage for like those small coffee things i don't have a whole bunch of stuff i definitely don't plan on cluttering the house with a whole bunch of stuff the most height on per unit that i'm gonna have in the house is probably my pots and pans only because i do cook um, I just had a QA and a and I told you guys that I do not entertain, but I do plan on having a very small intimate dinner for um, like a little housewarming thing or whatever with like five really close people in my life. And when I say really close, like really, really close. So I am actually working with Pier 1. I'm really excited, you guys, but I wanted to show you guys um, what I did is I'm going to put together, I think it's four different settings that you can use. And you guys already know what I like to do. I like to buy different colors and incorporate everything together. I'm missing black and blue plates and I'm missing my chargers. Once everything comes in, I can show you guys some really, really nice um, table setting. And I think I'm missing white napkins also. I also got some white napkins. That way I can do that. But just to kind of go down, here are the white plates. Here are the gray ones, which I love the trimming around it. And then I also got these guys, which I thought was really, really pretty. I really like these a whole lot. And then the napkins and then the plates, just to kind of give you just a little bit of an idea. Look at that, you guys. Oh, it looks so good. So hold on, I'm going to show you something real quick. All right, look at that, you guys. It looks so good. I love it. Now just imagine if I had about four or five kind of going down and you can use white napkins, you could use blue napkins, yellow, whatever. So that's why I feel like you can get different color napkins, maybe two to three different um, plates and you can create different styles of table setting. That way you don't have to have like a whole closet full of stuff. You guys already know like... Um, when it comes to like the holiday and spring and fall, I don't like to take things like super literal. The black plates that are coming, I'm gonna be using those for more of like a fall look. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. So I'm gonna show you guys. It's gonna be like a four dishes, six different looks and ideas for like your table setting type of thing. You guys know, I don't do like a lot of things, but when I do have company come over, to eat, that is, to eat, which is basically like family. I do like to have things like really pretty. I'm definitely the hostess with the mostest. But yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I did not burn my candle today, you guys. I didn't burn it today. I was so busy and I was tired, especially from yesterday. But that is pretty much it for the video. I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning. You guys have a really good one. Bye. Girl, I didn't even know you were in here. I think I can put
put all my kids in here. Right? I almost forgot. So, trim wall. Look at my chair. I'm excited. I only moved one. I don't know if it's going to stay right there. But for right now, this is where it's at. But it looks so good. It looks really good. I like it. But once the wall gets painted, it's going to look really, really good. I'm excited. <laughs>